so many good things about this World Cup. We shouldn't forget it was played out against a controversial backdrop. And it didn't get off to the most auspicious of starts with this extraordinary rant by FIFA President Gianni Infantino. Today I feel uh, Qatari. Today I feel Arab. Today I feel African. Today I feel uh, gay. Today I feel disabled. Today I feel like a corkman, like mm. I do most days. Bit but like, nauseous, Tony, I, listening to that. Like, it, it was extraordinary. And remember, I was over in, in, in Qatar for the early part of the tournament, and human rights issues mm. were very, very significant. The wearing of armbands mm. became uh, a big issue, and the plight of the LGBT community, and, and mm. trying, I guess, to, to highlight that. Uh, we had debts even during the tournament, and including a, a sports journalist, Grant Wall of the United States, uh, someone I'd actually uh, met a few, on a few occasions. Um, so there was a lot of serious stuff going on in the background to this because Qatar has spent 220 billion, mm. you know, thousands of migrant workers have died in the, in the building of these Disneyland stadiums. And I think that's, that, that's something we always have to address. I think it's great looking at it from a purely football perspective. It's fantastic because it was, it's phenomenal, it has been, it probably will be tomorrow. Um, but... I think we're very lucky in a position where we don't work for a, a station that censors what we think about these issues. And I think it's something you have to talk about because to think that what we're looking at is so magnificent, but it's on the back of people dying to build these stadiums. That's something that can't be overlooked. And it's getting awarded the tournament to get into it being hosted. The pure ignorance from FIFA, ignoring what was going on in this country to get to this stage. Like they built seven brand new stadiums for this tournament in the space of, I think it was eight years to get to now. You know, that was done, like I said, on the backs of dead migrant workers, which, which can't be overlooked. And I think at every moment we can, you should be able to highlight that and talk about it because FIFA can continue on in that vein. And it was a kind of a foot and mouth moment as well with the, the armbands when, you know, in the clubs, the, the countries rather, that wanted to wear the captain's armband uh, in support of LGBT uh, were denied to do that. It, it actually brought more, uh, I suppose, spotlight on the issue. Uh, like the way FIFA has dealt with these things is extraordinary. Has FIFA, in fact, saved football during this tournament, do you think? Or has football saved FIFA? No, I think that's a fair, fair point. I think football has uh, saved uh, FIFA because the issues that you're talking about, Stephen was talking about there, I think everybody been in agreement on that. Everybody kind of rose in behind mm. uh, that kind of uh, sentiment. But if you're a real sports enthusiast, and particularly a, uh, you know, a football fan, he just couldn't help but get drawn into the tournament uh, itself. And I don't think people should feel guilty as the tournament progressed and we all got totally enveloped in the, in the tournament. Maybe those uh, as issues, those kind of conversations to an extent only maybe got pushed to the side. And I don't think we should beat ourselves up over that. We can't forget about it. Mm. They'll still be relevant kind of going forward and hopefully there'll be just as much spotlight on those issues after the World Cup um, ends. But I think there's a happy medium there between uh, uh, highlighting those issues uh, verbally as everybody has done uh, even in this studio but also taking time to enjoy the tournament as well I think he can do both